there's an increasingly uh, regulatory requirement to make sure you do integrate HFE within projects. Um, and across the world, various countries have set expectations for integration of HFE within the project design life, life cycle. So it's included in this sort of company legislation, uh, country legislation, I should say. And similarly, uh, technical requirements for considering HFE are also an international, national and industry standards, as well as the larger companies will have company specific standards and specifications. So a lot of the major oil companies will have their own internal standards that require you, that mandate you to, to do this process. So if you're going to be doing a, 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 a CapEx project, most likely you are going to have a requirement to, to look at HFE. And you can break those, um, those requirements down as well into prescriptive goal orientated and process. So prescriptive requirement may mean that there are certain standards that you need to follow. So there may be certain dimensions, for instance, of ladders that you need to say, well, we have to make sure that when we when we when we use ladders or, or when we position walkways, we've got an adequate dimension and a clearance there based on a, on a standard. There may be goal orientated requirements that say, well, you've got to demonstrate that you've reduced the risk of human error to as low as reasonably practicable. And the way you do that is making sure that you consider the, the HFE in the process. And within these mandated processes, uh, there may be a requirement to do specific HFE activities such as valve criticality analysis and 3D model reviews. And this slide shows just some of the benefits that you that you would gain from ensuring that you consider HFE uh, in your projects and you do it early. Uh, you have these, uh, as I said, uh, reduced chance of sort of errors, uh, improved productivity. You're making the task easier to do, uh, so you should you should have a more effective task, uh, greater job satisfaction for for uh, the workforce, uh, less less turnover, and you know. Uh, reducing the uh, the potential for any sort of safety impact and the the graph on the right just shows the fact that if you think about considering hfe early in the design you know you need to factor that into your process but uh overall that's going to be a lot cheaper for you to do it early and make sure you address those things early in the design if you don't address them and you go through to operations and then you find the issues the cost of actually addressing those at that time is, is a lot higher and there's probably not much you could do about the design then so you're probably working at looking at what can we do about training and procedures to try and mitigate any errors so you really want to try and look at your hfe as early as you can <laughs> 